So again, my name is Mike Nimchek, also known as Movement Mike here at Ideal Lifestyle Advocates. I'm a personal trainer and a movement specialist, helping people like yourself become stronger, more mobile, and more stable so that you can do the things that you love to do with optimal movement and body mechanics. So the first thing that I'm going to do is mobilize or work on my ankle flexibility. So I'm going to get up on here. And so the leg being worked on right now, or the leg in focus, is the one in the back, or the one further down. And all I'm doing here for the first minute is mobilizing the ankle. So you want to do that for about a minute. my knee forward to bend and straighten. What this is doing is bringing more range of motion into that angle. So you kind of adjust as needed. This leg is for support, the one on top. Alright, so after the minute you'll switch sides. And I'll face you now so you can see this is the leg being worked on, bending at that ankle. And so you're already working on <laughs> your stability. You're already working on your balance in doing this. The farther apart that you set your foot, the more stable or the better balance you have. timer going here to make sure we're just spending a minute on it. <laughs> All right. Now that our ankles are feeling pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and get into a deep squat. I'm going to hold this deep squat again for about a minute. This is our warm up. So we're getting our tissues warmed up, letting our nervous system adapt. So again, this is very active. And one thing that I find helpful is this kind of fix your look or fix your gaze on the center little plug in the slosh tank. All right. So this is where mobilizing those ankles, the first thing we did helps. So you're working on this deep squat position. All right. So you're trying to stay centered. With your shoulders back. So I'm not hunched over, round over. I'm trying to push my chest forward while pulling my shoulder blades back behind me. Closing the gap in my legs as much as possible. So to show you from a different angle, all right. Try to square my feet up as much as I can so they're straight ahead, they're not duck footed out. All right. You can see how low I'm getting. I'm shoving my shoulder blades back so I'm not rounding my back as much. Trying to stay upright. And when that minute's over, come back up. All right. 
going to work on the wrists a little bit. Not that you do a lot on this with the wrists, but it's good to have that mobility. So working on the wrists here, again, we'll do that for about a minute. So working a little bit on the upper body. And with this one, you're just kind of playing around with it. But I do want you to try to lean over those wrists slightly. Fingers are spread nice and wide. My belly button is pulled in, my butt is tight. And then you can kind of get a little more intense with it. Now that we're more than halfway through, got about a 10 seconds left here. So I'm really starting to mobilize the shoulders and arms, keeping the torso still moving the slosh board from side to side. There's the timer. Good. So warmed up the upper body a little bit. You should feel pretty warm now. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Some fancy footwork going on here. So without seeing, what the water is doing behind me, adding a little bit of uh, balance challenge. All right, so once you find yourself centered, we're gonna start doing jumping jacks. No hands are really involved here, but for a minute, come to the middle and back out. Find the middle and come back out. And you always wanna to try to get centered before you do your next jump. Again, we're not going for reps. We're doing time, so everything is under time. So on this video, it's a minute. A minute each exercise. Wanna go for more endurance, want a little bit more? Double it up, two minutes. Put this video on pause, just go for two minutes. All right? Again, I'm making this a work along. Woo. All right, there's my timer. Feet are feeling pretty good. If you do this barefoot, which I recommend, I have barefoot shoes on. Helps with the proprioception and the muscles in your feet. You'll feel this in your arches a lot. So we warmed up with our hands on the slosh board platform to mobilize the wrists, but now we want to add a little bit more core and stability in our lower body, all right? I'm going to put the hands on the floor, feet up on the slosh board, spreading them out as far apart as I can. You want your hands or wrists more right underneath your shoulders. And you come down, elbows close to your body, and press up on an exhale. Inhale coming down, exhale coming back up. If you need to, you can change this up a little bit. If it's too much, come onto your knees. All right. That is also an option. Picking the toes up. So now you're balancing on your knees, all right? You're working on that core. Belly button pulled in. And we're going for a minute. So whatever you choose.
Remember, it's not for reps, but for time. As you get better, your speed will increase. But at first, you can take pauses at the top. If you're in this straight position like I am, the full push-up position, keep the butt squeezed. It's going to keep your hips from sagging. Stay with me. We got 10 seconds left. Come on, keep it up. One more, come on. Ah. Woo-wee. There we go. All right, we're staying on the floor. And coming into our glute bridges. Same thing as our push-up. Except we're flipped over. Have your hands wide or more of a challenge. Keep them closer to your sides. Just make sure you're not gonna get your fingers pinched. You shouldn't, but. So you're lifting your hips up. Starting your timer, getting your feet as far out to the edges as you can. Working the backs of your legs and your butt muscles here. Squeezing those butt muscles at the top. If you and this slosh board will tell you if you're favoring one leg or the other. If you're not pressing evenly on both feet, the slosh board will let you know. Good. Keep those palms open towards the ceiling. It keeps your shoulders against the floor. Keep those shoulders away from your ear. No shrugging. Keep those shoulders away from the ear. You guys, doing correct. We got 10 seconds left. This is a fast minute. Come on, keep it up. Squeeze at the top. Back down. Last one. Come on. Up. And that's it. All right. So to round this all out, we'll go into our squats. All right. So for this one, try to keep it even. Come down. Again, you want to keep your feet flat the entire time. Do not lift the heels up to get lower in your squat. If this is as far down as you can go, that's fine. It's not so much about the destination as it is about the journey getting there, the process. Things are always changing. You have to change with it. Otherwise, you'll drive yourself crazy just focusing on the end result. Keep it going. I like to breathe in as I go down. And breathe out as I come up. Squeezing at the top. And one more. Good. How'd you do? How do you feel? If you'd like to continue doing this, you can do this workout three times over. So three rounds of this, all right? Again, I'm showing you as a one minute timed per exercise or per, uh, per warm up piece. But like I said, you can pause it, do two minutes of the exercise, fast forward to the next one, and do that as you please. I hope you enjoyed the introduction to strength on the slosh board. Stay tuned in for the next episode or the next level. Keep going and keep growing.